Now we're going to find the exact value of a given trigonometric function using double angle identities and half angle identities. For example, one, let's say we are asked to get the values of sine 2 theta, cosine 2 theta, and tangent 2 theta, given that cosine theta is equal to 4 over 5. So let's say this is our right triangle, this is our angle theta, this is the adjacent side, and this would be the hypotenuse. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So we need to get the value of the opposite side. So by Pythagorean theorem, we can say that y squared is equal to 5 squared minus 4 squared. 5 squared is 25 minus 4 squared is 16. 25 minus 16 is 9, and getting the square root is 3. So the opposite side is 3. Getting the sine theta, that would be opposite over the hypotenuse. So we have opposite is 3, and then the hypotenuse is 5. To get tangent theta, remember that it is sine theta over cosine theta. So by substitution, we can have sine theta 3 over 5, and cosine theta is 4 over 5. We can cancel 5. Therefore, tangent theta is equal to 3 over 4. Now let us solve for cosine 2 theta using cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So we have 4 over 5 squared minus 3 over 5 squared. So that would be 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25. Therefore, cosine 2 theta is 7 over 25. To solve for sine 2 theta, we can use 2 sine theta times cosine theta. So we have 2 times 3 over 5 for sine theta, and cosine theta is 4 over 5. Simplifying, we have 2 times 3 times 4 is 24, over 5 times 5 is 25. So sine 2 theta is equal to 24 over 25. To get tangent 2 theta, we can use this formula. So that would be 2 times tangent theta is 3 over 4, over 1 minus the square of 3 over 4. So 2 times 3 over 4 is 6 over 4. Simplifying, we have 3 over 2. The square of 3 over 4 is 9 over 16. 1 minus 9 over 16 is 7 over 16. Dividing these two fractions, we have copy the numerator and then get the reciprocal of your denominator, and that would be 16 over 7. 3 times 16 is 48 over 14. To simplify, we have 24 over 7. So that is our tangent to theta. We can also use tangent to theta is equal to sine to theta over cosine to theta. So sine 2 theta is 24 over 25, and cosine 2 theta is 7 over 25. 25 would be cancelled, giving us 24 over 7 for tangent 2 theta. For example 2, the given is tangent theta is equal to negative 4 over 3, and the angle is in quadrant 2. We are asked to get the values of sine theta and cosine 2 theta using double angle identities. If the angle is in quadrant 2 and this is our tangent theta, remember the tangent is opposite over the adjacent. So this would be the opposite side and this would be our adjacent side. So we need to get the value of our hypotenuse. So by Pythagorean theorem, we can have Negative 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So square root of 25 is 5. So r is equal to 5. Sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is 4, and our hypotenuse is 5. For cosine, that is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we have negative 3 over 5. 
Now let us get the value of cosine 2 theta. Cosine theta is negative 3 over 5. And then sine theta is 4 over 5. So squaring, we have 9 over 25. And then minus 16 over 25. So we have negative 7 over 25. For sine 2 theta, we have 2 times sine theta is 4 over 5. And cosine theta is negative 3 over 5. So we have 2 times 4 times negative 3, we have negative 24, and 5 over 5 is 25. So sine 2 theta is equal to negative 24 over 25. For example 3, we are asked to use half angle identities to get the sine and cosine of 22.5 degrees. So this is the formula for sine theta over 2. So this theta over 2 would be 22.5 degrees. So we need to get the value of theta. So that would be theta over 2 is equal to 22.5 degrees. So to get theta, we can multiply 2 to both sides of the equation. So 2 would be cancelled, giving us theta is equal to 45 degrees. Because that's 22.5 times 2. So for our formula here, that would be 45 degrees over 2. And that is 22.5 is equal to positive negative square root of 1 minus cosine of 45 degrees over 2. So we have sine of 22.5 degrees is equal to, in this case, you have to decide if it's positive or negative square root. So in this case, 22.5 is located in the first quadrant, and sine is positive in the first quadrant, so we need to take the positive square root. In reference to our unit circle here, cosine 45 degrees is the x-coordinate and that would be square root of 2 over 2. Now we can multiply 2 over 2 to this quantity, giving us that would be 2 times 1 is 2, minus square root of 2 over 2 times 2, that would be square root of 2, over 2 times 2 is 4. Simplifying, sine 22.5 degrees is equal to the square root of 2 minus square root of 2 over 4, the square root of that is 2. To get cosine 22.5 degrees, this is our formula. So remember, the theta is 45 degrees. So to get cosine 22.5 degrees, that is equal to positive square root of cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. This time, this is 1 plus square root of 2 over 2 over 2. Multiplying 2 over 2 to our quantity, we have 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 times square root of 2 over 2 is square root of 2 over 4. Simplifying the denominator here, we would have be having square root of 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 for our cosine 105 degrees. For example 4, we are asked to get the sine of 105 degrees, cosine of 105 degrees, and tangent of 105 degrees. So again, we need to find the value of theta. Theta over 2 is 105 degrees. So we multiply 2 to both sides of the equation, giving us theta is equal to 210 degrees. Therefore, sine 105 degrees is equal to Positive negative square root of 1 minus cosine of 210. Cosine of 210 degrees is the x-coordinate here, and that would be negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, 105 degrees is located in the second quadrant, and sine is positive in the second quadrant. Therefore, we need to take the positive square root. Simplifying this, we have 1 plus square root of 3 over 2, all over 2. Again, 
we're going to multiply 2 over 2 to this quantity, giving us 2 times 1 is 2, and then this would be 2 times square root of 3 over 2 is square root of 3. And then the denominator is 4. Simplifying, we have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all over 2 as sine of 105 degrees. To get cosine theta over 2, we have this formula. So again, theta is 210 degrees. So that would be cosine 105 degrees is equal to, this time, this would be negative square root of 1 plus, in this case, cosine 210 degrees is negative square root of 3 over 2, all over 2. We're getting the negative square root because 105 degrees is in the second quadrant and cosine is negative in the second quadrant. Simplifying, we have positive times negative here. We have negative. And then multiplying 2 to this quantity, we have negative square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all over 4. And therefore, for cosine 105 degrees, we have the negative square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all over 2. For tangent 105 degrees, we can use this formula. So we have tangent of 105 degrees is equal to, again, theta is 210 degrees. Cosine of 210 degrees is negative square root of 3 over 2. Tangent is negative in the second quadrant. That's why we are getting the negative square root. Negative times negative here would be positive. And then here is positive times negative would be negative here in our denominator. So simplifying, we can multiply 2 over 2 to our quantity here. So we have 2 times 1 is 2. Square root of 3 over 2 times 2 is square root of 3. 2 times 1 is 2, and then minus square root of 3. That is for tangent 105 degrees.